we came up here to the Chiricahua Mountains this weekend to escape the heat. And we figured it's a perfect time to finally, finally, like two years late, do the walkthrough of the camper. So it's all set up. Let's go over there, talk to Alboro, AKA Waka, and uh, have him give us the tour. Hey Waka. Yeah. Mind giving us a little walk around of the Wakamper? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, hold on. Just give me one second. The much anticipated. Huh? The much anticipated oh, walk around. Oh, He's probably going to take a the shot. The masses later. have been requesting it for like two years. I'm just going to put this in here. Nice. Maybe later I'm going to take a shower. I don't know. Okay. So, what do you want to know? Why don't you just give us the the nickel tour we can start why don't we start from uh we'll start from the battery box here and then just like work our way around all right um i do have a couple six volt batteries to make one 12 volt and these are just kind of like golf cart the golf cart batteries. yeah those right? are yeah. just acid regular batteries and um I have solar charger there uh thousand watt inverter and then i have Short power, in case I want to hook it up to like an RV or, or even my house. Or yeah. And there's a plug house. hidden under here to plug yeah. it in. Mm -hmm. Then you get a connector for the solar solar panel uh, on top. Is and what is that? 100 watt. 100 watts. Yes. Uh, okay, so we have a couple of containers for fuel, water heater, and uh, so. Even, I'm ready already because maybe you're gonna take a shower later today. And this is a six six liter on demand water heater, which means like it'll. It's pretty much as soon as you turn the water heater on, it's hot, right? Yes. You don't. There's no wait. Yeah, you don't have to wait. I mean, you wait like for like five seconds, and then you got hot water. As long as it takes to get from here to whatever you're gonna be using it. So, cool. And then we have uh, in here. I have a Y connector for the for the propane, one for the water heater, one for my stove. And these are the cold and hot that go inside the, the belly of the trailer to this side. And here we have a sink with uh, like a 16 gallons, 16 gallon tank underneath the trailer and it's protected with a metal plate then I have um, uh, USBs if I want to charge whatever I need to charge. Then I have the um, cigarette lighter thingy. And then this is to turn up the water pump. Then I have a light in here. People are not going to see it during the day, but there's a light in here. Storage. I need to, still need to organize a little more there, but... It, where's I may have missed it, but where is the uh, where? How do you where's the filler for the water? I forget. The filler for the water is here on the side, right here. Oh, cool! So it's it, this is just like a normal, yeah, pretty standard RV filler, right? It's got yeah. the vent hose and yeah, perfect. And um, oh, I forgot this the the propane tank is actually frame uh, there's actually bowls welded inside that way it doesn't come apart because it's not just the wood it's actually attached to the frame i don't know if the camera picked that up but waka just pulled on this tank and it shook the whole trailer so <laughs> it's that thing is sturdy oh, i don't know This side we have the stove, more lights, and uh, it's not connected right now, but it's pretty simple. You know, it goes in here. Yeah, and that's the hose that was fed in through the other side there, right? So we got this right here is my uh, diesel tank for my diesel heater, which is inside the on the back of the trailer. We won't be able to see it. We will, we will be able to see the bends, uh, in and out bends, but uh, that's all we're going to be able to see today. And now, uh, I'm going there. Take a look inside. More lights. Here's something kind of 
you don't typically see in a lot of trailers that go this far remote. It's a TV. With a DVD player. DVD player, and there's an HD antenna, right? Yes. So, And I can hook up my phone to it and watch TVs that I've already saved. Nice. And then what do we have here? What are these controls? Those are the, the, the one of the rod is the controller for the heater. Okay. And then uh, the one on the left is just, you know, more more uh, um, USBs. And if, if you actually push the switch, it will tell you how many how many volts we have right now on the... Yeah, there we go. Nice. There's also two big storage cupboards in here. And, and the, the returns for the ace for the Oh heater. yeah, I'll show that. So the water pump and the heater are behind this panel on the bottom here. This actually is removable. And we can see here these are the vents where the hot air comes out for the diesel heater. And then there is also an optional electric heater here that runs off of the inverter. And it will run, if I do like 65, it will run for the whole night. And that right there is to turn on and off uh, the uh, inverter. Then we got more light. And then before you close it, I know there's something unique about these ma this mattress, right? Yes, it actually, uh, it's three parts mattress, so I can actually stack them underneath that cabinet and I can use the whole thing for, uh, you know, like storage or like if I want to throw everything inside the trailer, I can do it too. So yeah, these are individual. And I hope so. everybody appreciates the like the thickness of this mattress. It's amazing. eight inches, eight inches of memory foam, I think, right? Yes. That's uh, beats the crap out of my two inches in my rooftop tent. Then we got more water storage. These are another uh, 14 gallons. So I got 14 here, and then I got 16 underneath. So that makes 30 gallons. And I like this, I wanna pick up these, make sure the camera picks up these brackets down here. So there's aluminum brackets that actually hold those things in place. So they're not gonna move around at all. Then we got like storage. Oh, another thing is uh, this plate right here is for my generator. Uh, when I build a trailer, um, I frame in here with, with steel. So if I want to open here, I can do an AC. So that way I can run it out of my uh, generator. I haven't done yet in I, almost two years, but eventually I will do it. Let's give a little information about the frame. I know this is another thing that people ask about all the time. So we'll... At some point I do, I swear we'll go through and we'll get the dimensions for everybody. But just to talk about the materials, um, so we'll start from the tongue is, this is just uh, two uh, inch? Two, two and a half by two and a half. Okay. By quarter, by quarter inch thick. So. And then the main frame is made of what? Uh, two by four. It's actually overkill. Um, if I ever build another one, I will not go two by four. I'll, I'll probably go two by two. Uh, but I mean, it works pretty good. I know it's not going to break. Do you remember what the thickness was? Uh, it's pretty thick. I mean, it's, it, it's probably like a quarter of an inch too. I mean, I don't exactly remember, but it's really, really thick. That's where all the weight goes on the frame because it's really heavy. And then the materials, I think we, most people who've seen the videos probably have a good sense of, of the general materials of the box part, but just to go over that again. Um, well, I have a frame. It, it is a uh, one inch square tubing underneath the plywood. Then I got half inch plywood with uh, clear coat finish. And then I finish it up with the uh, uh, orange uh, Raptor liner. And in the and inside I have a one inch insulation and a quarter inch paneling. And the insulation, from what I hear, is very effective, right? Yes, it's, <laughs> yes, it works it stays, pretty good. It stays nice and toasty, warm yes. in there. It works really, really good during the winter. Because that's when we actually do most of the camping here in Arizona, during the winter, so. And then this is all, so all, pretty much, I mean, I don't think there's anything on here that wasn't made by hand. So this is aluminum, right? Yes, aluminum. Uh -huh. Aluminum, and then these are, Steel or those are, these are yeah these uh, are this is steel uh, uh, 
steel plating with the uh, one inch uh, framing. Okay. The square steel framing. And last but not least, this is maybe the weakest point. The weakest point, maybe the most interesting and maybe the most controversial point here. The suspension. Uh, those are actually made in Canada. The warranty, they have great warranty because when I built it my first trip, it actually broke. So I call them and they send me another one within the week. So these are um, torsion axles. And what's the weight rating? Uh, 3,500. 3,500 torsion axles. Is this sort of like the major part that you would change? Yes, I would definitely use over? a different system for the suspension if I ever build another one. Yeah, uh, cause this one is is working good so far, but I don't have a lot of flakes and uh, it bounces a lot too. So uh, to remedy that, I have to pull the air out of the tires. I'm running like ten pounds right now. Okay. And uh, but it, I mean, it works good, but it was something I would definitely change. Yeah, this was if if you haven't seen the video on the the maiden main voyage of this trailer, we were in Baja, Mexico, and the roads were absolutely destroyed. Because of the bouncing and the rough roads and the and the nasty corrugation, one of these actually failed. So yeah, the main uh, problem was uh, I had a crack that it went from here all the way to almost like here. I mean, it was broken. So we got to a little town over there in Baja, and um, I got those old threads with the metal plate, and I put it underneath, and those went through and through. And that's how I make it back to to the to, to to the states. I mean, it was it was an okay fix. We we didn't have a problem after that. So I'm gonna still got them in there just in case I need them. What's your ideas for modifying that suspension? Oh well, I'm still thinking, but I I, I would do something like uh, with the airbag and a uh, shot. And it'd be, it'd like, be like a long arm. Keeping the independent yeah. setup. It will still be independent. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's been some alterations since the initial um, the initial build. So this this um, angle, what do you call it? Angle, yeah, the, angle the angle detail angle. on the end here. And this front plate. And that was, I think this was picking up rocks, is that right? Yeah, um, I was getting a bunch of dents in here. So that was what I did, the aluminum plate. And uh, so far it's been good. I mean, I don't see any, any more of those dents in there. And this is, it's not purely cosmetic, but I think most of it is cosmetic. But it does... Yeah, what happened is uh, with, the, with the vibration and with the flex... I was getting small cracks where the where the two ply was made, and uh, I mean they were minor, but uh, what I did, I, I put a bunch of uh, silicone and this um, um, angle aluminum aluminum angle whatever, so and that will co that that covers them. Now at least they're there, but I won't see them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that makes it waterproof too, because uh, I put a bunch of uh, silicone in there. So. And in terms of sturdiness, like we've taken this down, I mean, even just today to get here, um, we were down a pretty gnarly trail and there's been no, there's essentially been no damage to this ever with the exception of the one part that failed, which was this oddly was enough, the only part that, that wasn't made by hand by you, which was yeah. the suspension. Yes. So <laughs> everything else has been rock solid. And this is the, this is the new... The only damage from today, the yes. tiniest little dent. Yeah. This trailer has been on its side as well. It flopped once uh, and it it held together because it just, it leaned on this rail. Oh, all this is actually uh, uh, inch and a quarter by a quarter of an inch. And this right here is two inches by a quarter of an inch. So even if I get all the way in here, it will still support the weight of the trailer. It, I mean, it's really, it's, it's, it's welded all the way to the frame. And what are the, what are some of the things that you want to add or tweak still? I know there's well, uh, I still want to do on uh, like a 270 on it. That is mm -hmm. one of my things that I want to do. Um, 
the suspension eventually i will replace it and uh that's pretty much it i mean uh, i don't really maybe the ac but you know i don't know maybe the, the table in the back yeah oh well, yeah another thing i want to do is you know the back i want to do a uh holding holding down table it'll be with a piano hinge and it'll fold down like that so i had another trailer and that's what i did on my other trailer and it worked pretty good so that is something i'm gonna do to get rid of that table yes have some nice built-in prep space and then you can not have to always be forced to carry uh, the extra table around cool and then let's see the last maybe the last little thing is the rack up here oh yeah yep that one is built it's just uh one inch square tubing and it's actually attached to the frame i weld the nuts inside drill through and then is this is actually attached to the frame so it's really 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 strong Let's get a get a good a good shake of that again. <laughs> Solid. I think we've seen everything, but a question people might be having is, uh, where do you put your food? Oh, so it's over here. I actually built this one too. I was gonna buy it, but I was like, eh, if I build a trailer, I think I can build my own uh, fresh trail tra tray. So, nice. So, this is aluminum angle with uh, HD sliders inside there. And then some nice paracord straps to hold it secure. And then this runs off of this power that runs uh, all the way up to the front battery system, right? Yes. And then additionally, if you're hooked to the trailer here, it has this umbilical. So actually this is, this is actually to charge the batteries of the trailer while I'm driving. Okay. If I'm driving, the batteries are getting charged. They're getting charged at the same time I'm driving. So that and the solar it will keep the batteries full. Cool. And what was the what was the choice? I know um, this comes up a lot. People recommending this setup or asking, you know, if it's worth it or so. What what's the what's the decision? What's the benefits of having the two six volts versus one twelve volt? Well. Mm, I just watch a bunch bunch of videos and that's what they say, you know, that is better cuz uh, you got more capacity cuz you pretty much it's one battery actually. It's a 112 volt batteries cuz you got two 6 volts. So it, it's just to get more capacity. I can't remember how many ampere hours I have on it, but uh the capacity is double so something like that. And I think there's a little bit of a a cost is there a cost savings? I forget. Yeah, because I, I think say I, it might be a little bit more efficient to go this route if you have, if you're able to do it. Yeah, I got those from Battery Plus, and I think almost a couple years ago I pay 114 dollars each, so it's only the taxes little less than 250 dollars, and it's been working fine for almost two years. So, uh. sweet. All right, thank you. I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for the walkthrough. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave his details if you want to follow him on Instagram. What's your, how can people find you? What's your Instagram? Uh, well, it's a long Actually, story. If you search for the Walk Camper, basically anywhere you'll find him. Yeah. Uh, it's Walk Adventures on Instagram. And uh, just, just Google for Walk Camper and you will find it. You will find it on YouTube. You will find it on uh, Instagram. And if you're, uh, if you're watching this and you're thinking about building a trailer, Please uh, reach out to us, leave a comment. We uh, we do a pretty good job at answering questions. I know this this trailer has has uh, a lot of people interested and a lot of people building similar designs. Cool. I think that I think we'll wrap it up there. We're gonna set up camp, maybe go shoot some guns and uh, and 
eat some food. <laughs> so, all right, thanks, Waka. We'll let you get back to finishing your camp preps. All right. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.